And uh, and hopefully everybody's having a good Labor Day and whatnot. Hopefully you are enjoying a day off work and, and whatnot. But uh, we'll move into the last team, and that would be the Seattle Seahawks. They went 11-5 and five last year. Their win total this year is 9 at Bet Online. To go over is minus 150. To go under is plus 120. To win the division, plus 180. So they, they kind of look at them the same way that they look at the, the 49ers. Very, very close. 49ers plus 120. Seahawks plus 180. Not too big of a difference there. Pete Carroll entering his 11th season. He has made the playoffs in eight of his 10 seasons as an NFL head coach. Pretty impressive. Uh, it, this is all about Russell, MF, and Wilson. Man, he is uh, he's a beast. He's If it wasn't for Patrick Mahomes, I think he would be the best quarterback in the league. Um you know, he's just unbelievably accurate with his throws. He's crazy. Offensive yards per play last year, 5.8. That was good for number 10. Here is where the problem was, and, and something we did not expect. Defensive yards per play, they gave up 5.9. That was number 27 in the league. That's not good. Turnover margin, however, Russell takes care of that football, man. Uh, number four in the league, they gained .7 turnovers per game. Um I mean, good gracious. Their wide receiver core, they upgraded significantly. They got Lockett. They got Metcalf. They got Dorsett. They, uh, they re-signed Josh Gordon. It, I wouldn't say they improved because they kept guys. But, like, it, it, they bring in Dorsett. I think they got, you know, I, I, Metcalf in his second season, I think is going to be really, really good. I think he is the bell cow of this core right now. Um, they brought in Jamal Adams to pair with Quadra Diggs in that, uh, in that secondary. Like, I, I think that's going to help him out on defense a little bit. And, you know, I... My my issue here, like they went eleven and three in one score games last year. Like that's a lot of one score games, and that's a lot coming out on the right side. Now, one thing is to be said about this is well, you, you done taught the boys how to win. Like it you get into a tight game, you don't panic and you you just get the job done, and that's good. But the other side of this is, man, some of those are eventually gonna go against you. Uh, which is why I think that their win total is sitting at nine after they went, you know, eleven and five last year. I I am not a fan of Brian Schottenheimer, and he is still the offensive coordinator. He forces the issue with running the football. And, and his early down play calling is atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Uh, Matt Miller said, I would never bet against the magician Russell Wilson. He said, they should try and pull some type of experiment and combine Gordon and Metcalf, and you might get a Calvin Johnson clone. Yeah, <laughs> you, you might. You might get a Megatron in there. But uh, I don't like Schottenheimer. I don't like what he does with his play calling. He, he forces the run so much, and they, they don't have great running backs. And the offensive line is okay. Like I, it, it's, not, it's not the best in the league, but you don't have to be, especially when you got Russell Wilson. Like I, I think that's a big – you and I have talked about this a lot. That's a big misconception with the NFL. You don't have to have the best offensive line. Like, you just have to have a good enough offensive line. But if you were trying to run the football all the time, like 60% of the time, yeah, you got to have a damn good offensive line. And and that they ain't that. Like, I, tell, tell me your thoughts here. I've got them going 10 and 6 because I still trust Russell Wilson. I still trust Pete Carroll. And I think the defense will be a little bit better. But I, this, I, don't, I don't see him as a Super Bowl contender. So, you know how I do my graph. I do my sheet pick all the wins and losses. I don't look at anybody's record. And then I go back and I count it all up. There's sometimes where I get a team and I'm like, Whoa, I didn't think I'd think they were that good. All right. Sometimes I question this, this method and I change it, whatever this year I'm trying to stick to it. I did this. I think I'm wrong on this one, but I might not be. I got the Seahawks eight and eight. I, I I never I, I at some point in time that defense doesn't scare anybody anymore. Yeah. I think offensively they're really good. I listen to Pete Carroll. He he's on the ringer a lot this year in the offseason. He's taught he still wants to run the football. That is a that is not he the reason Brian Schottenheimer is the the OC there is because Pete wants to run football that way. That's that's the way Pete still wants to play. We he looks young and he looks energetic, but we forget that Pete is a 70 something year old man and he is not changing his ways. And the game has changed and the game has, has grown. And and the reason this is, this is a very, very, very rich man, uh, chargers team. Okay. 
from from what we saw last year in the Chargers, which is the reason Russell Wilson is having these amazing fourth quarters is because they're playing from behind constantly now. They didn't used to do that when that defense was just unbelievable. That defense ain't great anymore, okay? Yeah. And now they're playing from behind, and if Russell Wilson can't be a magician, then then at some point in time, the wheels fall off and you lose those games, all right? They won a lot of those games. I don't know how they can continue to keep living and dying that way. The problem is, is because they win 11 and three in those one score games like that, and they finish the season 11 and five, that means all 11 wins were those one score games. They didn't kick anybody's ass the whole year. At some point in time, that ball bounces the other way on you. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. That's it's just a it's just a game of numbers. It's a roulette wheel, man. It's just not going to come up your way every time. And and you lived by it for too long last year. I thought it was a farce. I didn't know how they were winning these games. I love Russell Wilson. I love DK Metcalf. I love Tyler Lockett. If they would let Russell cook, I would feel so much better about it. I am telling you, they definitively are not going to do that. Pete Carroll does not play football that way. It, it's kind of insane. The early down success rate is so atrocious for them, and they yes. would be so yes. much more successful if they yes. if they threw on first down every now and, and they then. Could, and they could run the ball so much better than they – he wants to run the ball. How about you run the ball in the fourth quarter because you're beating the hell out of somebody, Pete? We're, I'll still let you run it 60 times, 60% of the time. But – but get a lead and then run the ball. Yes, or or How even that? even use it in different circumstances where uh, you can throw the ball to set up the run. It doesn't have to yes. be run to set yes. up the pass every but the, time. Hang on, we know that because we've watched football the last ten years. Pete has coached football for the last twenty years, but I don't know that he's learned anything new. Yeah. He's just a doctor that's been treating people the same way he's been treating them for thirty years, and he doesn't know any new techniques or any new medication. Yeah. That's, I mean, it's frustrating. It's, it's, but it works. And why does it work? It works because Russell Wilson is amazing. Yes. That's why it works. But that can't be. How you got to give him some help. He be? Like, that's, that's a crutch now. You're now using Russell as your crutch to continually do something stupid. Yes. And because it's, it's he, frustrating. Because he bails you out. It's like having a rich daddy that makes all your problems go away. Like, at some <laughs> point in time, you got to grow up and learn to be a grown up. Yes. You got to be a functional adult. And he's not. No, he's it. It, it drives me insane watching yeah, this team. It's it's really frustrating. I want you to run the football too, Pete. Run it in the fourth quarter when you've got a two score lead. How about we do that? How about we try to get a lead and then we run the football instead of running the football, being down by two scores, and now we got to throw like crazy in the fourth. Can, uh, can we try it? That our, our boy John from from West Coast. Can we at least just try? Can we just try it? I mean, it might not work, but can we try it one game? Two games? Can we can we give it a shot? Matt Miller jumps in. He said, "What does it take to fire Pete Carroll?" Nothing. Nothing. He'll, it'll, it'll, and, and I don't think he should be fired. I, yeah, I don't think I, it'll at ever some happen. point in time, I just want somebody. Here's, it takes a relationship with the GM to be strong enough to pull him aside and say, "I know that you've played football this way your entire life. The have you? If you're not watching what Kansas City's doing, if you're not watching how New England adapts every year, if you're not watching what these teams are doing." to change from New England from week to week, but other teams from year to year, their identity. Everybody knows what we're going to do before we do it. At some point in time, the element of surprise has to come into play. Yeah. Somebody has to have a relationship with him. That you and if you have that conversation and he says, stick it, then we have a different conversation. I, I, think, I think the only way that Pete Carroll gets fired is if Russell Wilson gets hurt. I think that's the uh, only. But even way. then, but even then, he's going to have the excuse he could lose every game after that, and he's going to say, "Well, it's really hard to win without a quarterback." Agreed, but at, I mean, at this that is, point, this is your, shows, this is the ultimate rich daddy situation here, where you got to fuck up for a child. Yeah, it's just that this is that Russell Wilson hides all the flaws. Okay, think about this: Pete in New England was terrible as a football coach. I mean, he was not. He was not good. Okay, uh, he wasn't. He wasn't awful. Okay, I mean, he wasn't he, awful. But but they weren't. They weren't great. Okay, and then he goes to Southern California. He goes to USC, and he's got more talent than anybody in the world, and he beats the hell out of people. And yeah, he helped get that talent. That dude is an ultimate recruiter, and he is the ultimate. I want to play for that guy. 
And then he goes to Seattle and he just hits gold. I mean, that dude strikes lightning, baby, with Russell Wilson. If they end up with Matt Flynn as their quarterback and not Russell Wilson, this team is a disaster and peace yes. goes back to college. I mean, the butterfly effect of Matt Flynn in Seattle is amazing. Oh, it really is. Uh, it, by the way, Pete Carroll in New England, 97, 98, 99. Uh, he went ten and six, nine and seven, yeah. eight and eight. Yeah, and progressively went, worse and worse and worse. And his first from, year there, he took over a team that was built up pretty good, won ten games, made the playoffs, I think. And then, after well, they that, they made the playoffs uh, the second year too. They lost uh, the nine and seven team. I don't remember. That's God. That's a long time. Yeah, ago. they they lost to the Jags in the AFC uh, wild card game. They that's lost to the Steelers ago. in the AFC divisional game. So he he won a playoff game, uh, but he went one and two. Yeah, and you know, not not great. But then he goes eight and eight, and he gets uh, he gets let go because they were fourth in the AFC East. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's I, I like Pete Carroll, and I, I like I do what too. they're doing. But uh, I don't I don't I don't know. He I mean, every week on the Ringer went in this off season, you know, where he would come on there. They would because those Ringer guys are very big analytic guys, and they're you know, hey, let's throw the football now. Let Russell cook now. No, that's not how we play football in Seattle. I mean, it's crazy. And I just think that's so frustrating to hear. It's so de- de- just defeating to hear. It really is. It really is. All right. He's if he was a basketball coach, he would he would just say, oh, "Listen, we don't shoot threes. All right, that's just that's nonsense. It doesn't make any sense. You you take a high percentage shot, don't shoot three pointers. It's wasteful. It's selfish. That's that's how he would coach in the NBA right now. That's that's frustrating, and he he would lose his job fairly quickly in the NBA. I mean, let, if he had Jordan, he wouldn't. That's a, okay, give that's it, give him Michael work. Jordan, and he didn't have to shoot three pointers. He just run, make plays, score all over the place, and he still gets to keep his job. There you go. Uh, Miller said, uh, "Now you guys can go get plastered." Now that we've gone through everybody, I'm, I'm actually going to work. I yeah, I've got things that I have to knock out. We got SBR duties and and all sorts of stuff. So we we got things that we got to take care of. But uh, but that's the way it goes. So I've got uh, the toddler coming back home today, and uh, and we are celebrating. You know. It, it, this weekend is basically my anniversary weekend. It's not until the tenth, so it's a few days away. But you know, we got things to uh, to handle and whatnot. So that's the way it goes. With that said, we are going to go ahead and get out of here. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you to everybody that jumped in early. We know it was insanely early, and it's a Labor Day weekend, and you know maybe you're too busy doing other things. But but we're glad that you chose to spend a little time with us. So thank you for doing that. Go over to winningcureseverything.com. All of our picks, previews, podcasts, videos, social media platforms, etc. Are over there. Uh, our in our excuse me. Our NFL picks will be up on Wednesday. We're uh, we're going to do that show on Wednesday. Uh, going forward, we are doing our college football picks on Tuesday night at five thirty p.m. Central Time, and uh, and those picks will be up on the website in the CFB twenty twenty link that's right there at the top of the page. Uh, you can go see what our records are so far, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, so just go over to the website, winningcureseverything.com. Do it, uh, do it for yourself. Make sure that you are up to date with what we're doing. Make sure you're subscribed to the podcast just in case you miss a live show here and there. And go over to sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF and make sure you are subscribed to the Sportsbook Review YouTube page. All of our college football content will be over there. Our NFL stuff will be over here. It is, uh, it's going to be a fun, crazy season, and we cannot wait for it. We have finally made it. To the first NFL week, Chris, I am hammered drunk with joy right now. <laughs> All right, uh, with that said, is there anything that is broken that we need to discuss? Nope. That sounds good. You guys have been great. Thank you so much. Subscribe, share out, tell your buddies about it, like the video, all that kind of different stuff. We will see you guys the next go-round. But until then, take care of yourself, take care of each other. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.